Hi everyone, welcome to BISP trainings. My name is Faiza Alam. In today's session, uh, we will be knowing about the vendor credit in the NetSuite application. So let's start now. So vendor credits are the credits that are received from a vendor as an equivalent of the amount uh, that they issue to us and uh, that can further be applied to the payables. Uh, we can say that a vendor credit is generally issued when we receive a credit or an advance from our vendor. It is the money that the vendor gives back to you either as a complete uh, refund or uh, funds that are used to uh, that are to be used on a future purchases. Uh, with the help of vendor credit, we can keep a track of the amount until it is paid by the vendor, refunded or applied to other bills of the vendors. We can say that if we want to uh, return uh, it is not concerned with the you know any any when we return any uh, quantity to the vendor but uh, due to some good terms with the vendor when we uh, receive some advances or uh, we can say some discounts or coupon codes so at that time also we can record a vendor credit in that situation so a uh, vendor uh, credit can be entered for all or part of the amount of the bill uh, in the netsuite application if we want uh, to enter a vendor credit so there are three ways in which a vendor credit can be entered first it is manually created or uh, it is not um, we can say that it is not associated with any of the bill uh, we will also look upon the other ways. So first we will take the first way into consideration for that we will be going under the transactions, payables and enter vendor credit. So this is a bill credit form. You can see here the custom form, the standard vendor credit form is already here. Reference number, if we want to provide any reference number, we can uh, uh, give it. Sorry. We can provide any reference number for this vendor. Since it is a in, in it is a standalone vendor credit, so we have to provide the name of the vendor for it. I'm taking here this Denmark International. So you can see that the account uh, that will be affected with this vendor credit is uh, accounts payable. Currency is here. We can see that uh, the subsidiary according to the subsidiary currency in exchange rate is already populated over here. Uh, date is already been taken up. Posting period is here. Memo as we have to create the vendor credit uh, for three ways. So we have to provide a memo. So for that I am giving here the memo. It is, uh, it is the first way. So I am giving here vendor credit one. So going down towards side, uh, towards the line level. So vendor credit can be created either for expenses for for items, and uh, and it is also it can also be applied if we click on this apply option. So you can see that these are the two bills that are associated with this uh, Denmark International. So if we want to apply a, a, this vendor credit towards any bill, so we can click it. We can click on it. There is not any amount. So like I'm uh, making this vendor credit for any expense. So for that I have to select an account first. We have to provide the amount also. Like I'm taking a 3000. We have to provide the location for it. And we will click on add.
okay so we have selected the amount so this auto apply option is like uh, if we check this box so you can see that the amount that is here it can be applied towards uh, in uh, towards uh, you know uh, if we want to apply it we can apply it and it, this amount will be reflected in this applied column if we don't check this box and uh, we can uh, see here that uh, I have a click on the apply option and this bill which is associated we can make a payment of it and you can see that uh, the amount 3750 is appearing in the applied option if I don't check this box so you can see that amount will be appearing in the uh, unapplied option so it is up to us uh, if we want to apply this uh, vendor credit to any of the bills uh, if we want to apply it we can apply it or e either we can leave it unapplied so I am uh, right now I am not applying it to any um, of this I am just I just want to apply it for this expense WET paid uh, and after that I will click on save So now we got the confirmation that our vendor credit has been successfully saved. Uh, this is the first way. If we move towards the second way, we will go into its list. This is the first way. You can see over here the uh, bill credit that we have created for Denmark International is here. So if we take the other way into consideration, this is a standalone or a manually created bill credit. If we go into a vendor bill, of any of the vendor from that also from there also we can create a uh, bill credit like I am taking here I am taking here this BISP professionals so this is the open bill I will click on credit So since, since it is uh, created from a bill so we can see that the vendor name account, payable account, date, currency, subsidiary is already been here. Uh, we will provide a memo for it. So we can see that uh, this bill is for the expense general and administrative travel expense for the amount of $10. We will provide the location for it. And after this, we will click on save. So here we can see, here we can see now that the bill is now successfully credited. So the other way of uh, for that we again we will be going back to the list. So the bill credit page. So here we can see that this is the vendor credit one that we have manually created and the, this is the uh, vendor credit two that we have uh, created from a, a vendor bill. So we will take the other uh, the uh, third way into consideration uh, which is uh, uh, in which a vendor uh, credit can be created 
through a vendor return authorization. So for that, we will be going under the vendor return authorization page. So here a list uh, is here. We have to select any VRA in order to make it credit, which is pending for credit like uh, I'm taking here this evolved technology technology. So here we can see that the uh, form is already here. Vendor's name is here, subsidiary date, amount, exchange rate, everything is here. In order to save this uh, form, we have to provide some details for it, like You can see that this VRA has been made for uh, an inventory item. If we want to change it, we can change it. The quantity is one rate amount is here. We will provide the location for it like. And click on OK. After doing this, we will click on save. So here you can see that uh, since this uh, VRA is pending for credit, now we are having this option of refund. So in order to proceed towards the vendor credit, uh, we will click on the refund tab. So every information has already been provided over here. You can see that it is uh, this uh, bill credit is created from a VRA. Uh, date is here, posting period, exchange rate, subsidiary, currency, everything is here. We have to, again, we have to provide a memo for it, like as we will be doing, as we have done in the... This is the third way that we are taking into consideration. We can see that everything is here. After doing this, we will click on save. So now we got the confirmation that our this bill that have, we have created a vendor credit for that we have created from this VRA uh, has been successfully saved. If we go into the list and just uh, have a check the three ways and the, we have taken all the three ways that uh, we have created a manual one for Denmark International. Then we have uh, uh, created a vendor credit from a vendor bill, which uh, is for BISP professionals. And last, we have taken the Evolve technology, which is which was the VRA. And for that also, we have created a vendor credit. So these are the three ways in which we can create a vendor credit, uh, sorry, in which uh, we can enter a vendor credit uh, in our NetSuite application. So that's all from my side. In case of any questions, queries and consultations, uh, feel free to write to us at www.bispsolutions.com. Thank you.